Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani. If you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be doing my first ever what I got for Christmas video and my first ever PR unboxing video because I got a lot of stuff from some brands that I want to show you guys that I haven't been able to put in the video yet. So I'm just going to put it all into one video so you guys can see what I got. And all this stuff came around Christmas time so I felt like it was just fitting to make this video and call it a what I got for Christmas video. But it's basically my first ever PR haul unboxing video I guess you could say whatever you want to call it that's what it's called <laughs> so if you guys are interested in what I got for Christmas please stay tuned and keep watching okay since this is on top let's just go ahead and start with this okay these are some slides that I got from ASOS and I've been looking for these slides for a minute now and I just couldn't find them in store so when I was on ASOS ASOS website I noticed that they still had these in stock so I had to pick them up they're just so cute like I really like them and plus I needed some new slides because I lost my pink fuzzy slides at my best friend's homecoming so yeah I just needed some more slides because I really missed those pink fuzzy slides so I had to like replace them with something that can come close to them you know and I got a whole bunch of other shoes from ASOS com as well but a lot of my stuff is still boxed up and <laughs> I don't feel like looking for them but I got some heels from ASOS because I noticed that they sell shoes that fit really wide so I purchased some heels from there and I posted a picture no I don't think it's up yet I am gonna post a picture on my Instagram of the shoes that I got from ASOS they just fit perfectly so I really appreciate ASOS for selling wide fitting shoes because well, I've been mean, needing some cute shoes too, so I'm happy that they sell wide heels that still are cute, you know? And then since these are sitting right here, I told you guys that I picked up some ugly looking boots in one of my vlogs. I'll probably link it in the cards. So these are it, and I really like them. And they're also really comfortable. I was going to get the Ugg boots, but I really didn't feel like spending $200 on those boots, so I was like, I just need some random boots to wear when I don't feel like wearing shoes. So I picked these up from Marshalls so girl if you need some ugly looking boots here you go so the next thing I got is this box from Sally Beauty and it's for texture on the runway if I'm not mistaken I think they invited me to one of their events but I'm really not too sure so they sent me over a box which I really was not expecting at all like when I got it it was so heavy when I get packages I get really scared because it's just like why is my name on this like I know what I order what is this <laughs> so Sally Beauty sent me some curl formers for extra long hair I don't really have extra long hair but I guess I can try to use these I don't know I, I really don't be doing too much to my hair well my natural hair is out today so that's something a little different that I don't do often and they also sent me a styling hook I guess that's supposed to go with this so that probably goes together and then they sent me some edge control from cream of nature which probably might not work on my hair because these type of edge controls they just grease up on me so I don't really buy them because they just don't work on me but yeah, they sent me this and then I got some, oh, it was for damaged curls and coils. It's supposed to improve your elasticity. So yeah, I'm guessing this is like a deep conditioner type treatment. And then they sent me something from Ardell, this eyeshadow palette. This is like a neutral eyeshadow palette. That's really pretty. And then I got some stuff from Shea Moisture. This is a Jamaican black castor oil strengthening and restore lock braid butter interesting it actually smells kind of good and then i got some stuff from cantu apple cider vinegar root rinse with tea tree oil it's supposed to be a gentle scalp detox deeply cleanses scalp without stripping strands great for weave braids and locks and extensions what is this supposed to be like a dry strand? shampoo I can smell the vinegar in it <laughs> hmm. my mom used to put something in my hair from them it always made my hair like really moisturized so I think I might have to give this a try and then I got some honey and ginger styling gel Ooh. this smells like it says honey and ginger so 
I'm guessing that's what it smells like, but it kind of smells like hand soap from like high school. <laughs> Is that weird? No, it smells like the hand soap that you use in high school bathroom. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? That's what it smells like to me. Kind of, sort of. And then they sent me some hair supplements. It promotes strong, healthy hair. I don't know how to feel about hair supplements because I feel like some people get acne from the hair supplements and I don't got time. Like, I don't need acne. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just really skeptical about, like, hair supplements. Some of them. Not all. But some of them. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll give these to try. I don't know. And then I got some stuff from Carol's daughter. This is a wash and go leave-in conditioner. It doesn't have a amazing smell, but I can deal with it. The last time I tried stuff from Carol's daughter, it made my hair feel not moisturized. So, I didn't really like it. When I try products, I look for them to slip through my hair. Like, they have to have a lot of slip because with my hair, y'all see it. I'm not going to say it takes a lot to get to this point, but the detangling process will make or break my style. So, if my products don't have a lot of slip, I just don't like them. Maybe I'll give this a try. I'll update you guys probably on Snapchat. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you should follow me. What are you doing? Okay, so that's everything from Sally Beauty. So thank you, Sally Beauty, for sending me this box of hair products because I kind of needed it. This is the 12 Miracles of Beauty box. Oh my gosh. And they also sent me a whole bunch of Sigma brushes as well. Their website sells basically everything. When I seen these brushes on there, I was like, oh my gosh, I need those. So I got a lot of Sigma brushes from in store so if you guys have been seeing me use like a lot of sigma brushes lately is because of skin store so thank you so much skin store for sending me this box um, I also have been using a lot of the stuff that came in this box this spray right here I don't know what it's supposed to do I think it's supposed to brighten your skin or make you look more luminous from within I don't know I really don't know how much this stuff costs but I'm pretty sure it's a pretty penny but it actually works this I really really love this this stuff made my skin so freaking glowy yeah this is what came in one of the little things that you pull out um I also got this olive oil pure olive oil from um Sally Beauty as well it came in the box but I've been using it which is why I didn't pull it out of that box but yeah Sally Beauty sent me this as well, and I love to use this at night. Okay, I got some smoothing recovery balm. I guess this is like a lotion. I'm guessing all the stuff that comes in this box is like sample sizes. So if you find something you like in this box, or you get this box for Christmas or buy it for somebody that's just obsessed with skincare, they can buy the full size if they end up loving it. They sent some hair stuff. This is a super conditioning pre-shampoo treatment for all hair types. So, got that. This box just came with a whole bunch of goodies. Like, there was a mask. Here it is. I haven't tried it yet, but it came with a mask. Um, and it's supposed to exfoliate and detox your skin. So, I cannot wait to try this. That came in one of the little drawers. This is a hair density serum. Oh. Oh. This actually smells really good. Wait. Kind of feels wet. That sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to give this a try. And all this stuff, like I've noticed that all this stuff kind of looks like medicine. So I'm guessing that means it's like dermatologist approved, which is, a, which is a good thing. Make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat so you guys can like see when I get stuff sent to me if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, this box is really cute and this will be like a good present for people that are obsessed with skincare like oh my gosh i definitely have to find a place to put this because i don't want to throw this box away like look at it it's so freaking cute let's start with these bags at the top okay this is oh this is from sasha cosmetics 
and they sent me the fix it spray which is not available in the United States if I'm not mistaken I think that's what she said but she sent it to me anyway so I can try it out so I would definitely be including this in and make a video coming soon because I'm a fan of like setting sprays. So um, yeah, I can't wait to try this. It says it instantly sets your makeup. It's supposed to keep it fresh and smudge resistant for hours. It doesn't say how many hours, but it says hours. My makeup doesn't look the best right now because I literally came home from work and started filming. So I might look like I've had this makeup on all day and that's because I have. <laughs> If you guys aren't familiar with Sasha Cosmetics, I use their setting powder, which is right here. It's my all-time favorite. That's my go-to setting powder. So if you guys are a brown beauty and you guys need like an under eye setting powder, I definitely recommend Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So thank you later. <laughs> I don't know if the spray did this, but my skin looks really nice. I don't know. I'll be letting you guys know how I like this in a future makeup tutorial. So stay tuned. And thank you Sasha Cosmetics for sending me this setting spray. I really appreciate it. I'm definitely going to be using it. The next thing is... Oh, this is the palette from Pure Cosmetics. Packaging is really cute. Oh, it comes with a mirror. <sighs> yes. Yes. That's one color swatched. Well, that's a pretty color. I feel like all these colors are like cool tone, toned down colors. My skin tone is going to take over the color. But yeah, I definitely think this is a really pretty palette. But I think it's more of like a toned down type of palette i don't think it's supposed to be like vibrant on their packaging the color looks really vibrant so i don't know i don't know i'm gonna try it and see but i really like the mirror i really like the fact that it came with the mirror oops i'm blinding y'all but yeah i really like the fact that it came with the mirror because not a lot of palettes come with a mirror like big enough to see myself you know what i'm saying so i'm happy that it came with the mirror thank you so much pierre for sending this to me what is this it's another <gasps> this is the pure my little pony palette <gasps> this is so cute oh my gosh and it comes with a mirror and these are the colors i had to go for the pink are you serious okay the light is washing this out but y'all i'm gonna have fun playing in this this is the gold color. That eyeshadow had a little bit of kickback, but I can still try to work with it. But this is so freaking cute. <laughs> okay, so this next box is from, I don't know. Uh, oh, this is from Bare Minerals. Oh my gosh. I remember talking to the lady. Oh, and it came in this box and oh they sent me a brush too oh the brush is so soft and they sent me three foundations and looking at it right now i feel like this one might be the closest to my skin tone but oh no none of them are really my skin tone i feel like this one is going to be the closest to my skin tone i'll definitely try this open up see this bottle looks so cute it has a pump it has a pump let's see it looks like it's going to be my skin tone mm, no i wonder what kind of undertone it has so but yeah it looks is right here y'all this is the color 27 cappuccino it's kind of close the other two colors mm, but this color it, it looks like it's around my skin tone so yes Thank you so much, Bare Minerals, for sending me this package. I really appreciate it. That's super nice. And then they wrote me a letter, like a handwritten letter. So I'm definitely going to keep this. I definitely have to find like a place where I can put all this stuff because right now, I don't have room for all this. What's this? Oh, this is from Lena Lashes, and they sent me this a while ago. But I put it off to the side and I forgot about it, but I found it recently. And this is their Lemonade Highlighting Palette. So, let's 
do this color because that's the darkest color so that's what I gravitate towards oh that's a pretty shade yeah that's really pretty I think that's the color sweetie pie if I'm not mistaken y'all y'all see this they look so similar okay they also sent me a pair of lashes in the style posh and I love their packaging of their lashes like oh these lashes are cute not really my style because I go towards more of the dramatic lashes but these are really pretty I'm definitely going to give them a try but when I try like subtle lashes they don't ever really show up on me which is why I always do like dramatic lashes so yeah Got these in the style posh. And then they also sent me some liquid lipstick. Oh, that's a pretty color. Oh, you guys can't really see it. Ooh, this color kind of reminds me of Stone from MAC. And then this one, I'm definitely going to need a lip liner. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pair this one with the lip liner because, girl, that's a little light. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. Lena Lashes for sending me this stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking nice. So that is all from Lena Lashes. Moving on to Fashion Nova. Oh, okay, so I've seen this on their website and I felt like this would be like the perfect birthday outfit, but it might be too cold to wear it, so I'll go out now. But this is real cute. This is so freaking so yeah, I got this from Fashion Nova. Super, super cute. They were either having a sale or I used my coupon code. Um, I think my coupon code is still XOSHANNY. I'll link it down below for you guys if you guys want to use it. And then I got some sheer socks with pearls at the top of it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I thought they were really cute. So... I got them. And then I got some distressed jeans that have pearls on it. But these pants fit really weird. I got a size extra large and they fit, but they just fit weird. They fit really tight on my legs and these pants do not stretch at all. It's really baggy in my hip area and then when it comes to my stomach area, it's real tight. So... If you're really curvy, then these pants will probably fit you really well. Or if you're really petite and skinny, these pants will probably fit you well as well. But on me, they just don't fit right. I wanted them to fit. They were so cute. <gasps> I just freaking got makeup all. Okay, moving on to the last two boxes. This box is from Real Technique. And like this is really like crazy because they emailed me and I was like, is this real? Like y'all want to send me makeup? Y'all want to send me tools? And of course I say yes, but when I was reading the email, I was just like, is this real? Like I, I had to read the email thoroughly. Okay, yo, are you serious? They sent me their new oval brushes. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. But these look so good. This is a streak free contouring brush. This is the seamless liquid foundation brush. This is the blend out blush or highlighter brush. This is the one sweep eyeshadow applicator brush. And this is the face, neck, and body application brush, which is freaking huge. Huge. It kind of reminds me of this brush. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm definitely like excited to. This is the Morphe E41 brush, if you guys were wondering. Oh, let me open it and see if it's off. No, should I open it? I don't know. Let me see what else is in the box. Okay. <gasps> Yo, <laughs> I didn't even see this. I was just following the words all the way around the box. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it has the eight ball. If you guys didn't know, eight is my favorite number. I don't know why, but it just is. There we go. There we go. <gasps> this is so freaking cute. Yo, I probably should have opened this one before I opened that one because I technically opened the box 
upside down so these brushes were at the bottom so I was supposed to get to this first and they sent me I guess the whole set and then they sent me more thank you so much real technique Shani Stevens we are huge fans of your content you produce on YouTube and can't wait to get our newest brushes in your hands. We hope you love the blend and blur collection as much as we do. Your Real Techniques team. Oh, Thank you so much. What a coincidence. Like, 8 is my favorite number and they sent an 8 ball in the package. Like, if I can get this open. Wait. You may rely on it without a doubt. Don't. Oh, can't really see it. Okay, and the last package that I have to show you guys is from YouTube. It's my 100 subscriber plaque. I think this came two days before Christmas or the day before Christmas, if I'm not mistaken. I already knew what it was when I got it in the mail because it had YouTube on it. That's the only thing that gave it away. So I looked at who it was sent from and I was like, I didn't order nothing from there, but then I saw the sticker and I was like, oh, are you serious? Oh my gosh. This is, oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all, I've been doing, I've been on YouTube for three years, but not like consistently. Um, I've had this channel for five years, if I'm not mistaken, but before I started putting videos on this channel, I used to just listen to like, music on YouTube and watch music videos and then um, me and my best friend posted a video that y'all will not see. There was a couple videos on my channel before I actually made it Shani Stevens like a makeup channel. I've come a long 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 way. Let's open it together because I wouldn't have been able to do this without y'all I didn't do it by myself like y'all had to subscribe in order for me to get it so that's why I was like okay if we hit 100,000 subscribers let's see if we can hit this much before this but yeah and it comes with a little note you've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish you had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel we know that numbers on YouTube can get really big but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone okay okay all right <laughs> Shani Stevens, congratulations on passing 100,000 subscribers. Oh man, like I can't. I just want to thank you guys for like subscribing. Well, you know, like I'm just over here having like flashbacks, you know what I'm saying? Like just thinking about like everything that I've been through. Hard work, hard work definitely pays off. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my videos and sharing and following me on Instagram and Snapchat and just commenting. And I'm definitely excited for what the new year is going to bring. Yeah, I've done a lot this year. The two big things that I did this year was hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and purchase my first car, so yeah i definitely can't like i can wait i can definitely wait but i'm excited about the new year and what it has to offer and what it has to bring 100,000 people 100,000 people <laughs> 100,000 people yeah. huh? it does have your last name on it 